Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have another radio. This one is a, uh, a Sony, it's a Sony ICF 36, which has the weather band, analog TV band, FM, and AM. You have your um, band selector switch here. You've got uh, TV H, well, I guess it's TV high, and TV L, which is TV low, FM, and AM. In the TV high band, you have a section here that's for the weather channels, the NOAA weather channels in North America. There's seven different uh, frequencies or channels in that area. And then you have the analog um, TV stations 7 through 13 and then the TV low 2 through 6. Of course with everything going digital there are no uh, TV audio signals there any longer. And then the regular FM band from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. The AM band from uh, 530 kilohertz to I guess it would be 1700, 1710 probably um, kilohertz. On this side of the radio you just have the uh, the uh, tuner uh, tone high and low and volume and an uh, earphone jack or headphone jack and that is uh, when you plug a headphone in there it only comes out of one ear so even on FM, it does not have stereo through the headphones, just mono. Um, this is kind of a nice, in a way, it runs on um, AA batteries, four AA batteries. And inside here, there's a power cord that's uh, permanently connected. And then you can snake it through this little hole here and plug it in so it'll run off of, of AC as well. There's nothing on this side. Um, the top of the radio has the on-off slider switch here and then the uh, telescoping antenna for FM, your TV audio, and the weather band as well. Also has a, a nice uh, uh, handle as well you can carry it with. So this radio is fairly old. I mean I'm gonna say probably the late um, 1990s to the early 2000s probably um, it uh, was um, I guess replaced by the ICF 38 which is pretty much the identical radio with uh, out the TV or weather bands so it's just strictly an AM FM version of this and a, a newer version of this it also has a a tuning light indicator up here that when you tune into a station um, it'll it'll light up when you're on station so I guess we'll just do a, a little quick uh, uh, band scan here and see what it sounds like um, let's see I believe it's well it's set for AM so I guess we'll we'll do that first night could have to cover the plants up with frost and maybe even a light breeze inland monday will be sunny and pleasant 51 late front 62 inland tuesday looks great highs in the 60s for everyone and wednesday partly cloudy and 64 so despite tonight's late rain we stay dry which we need to be we need to kind of dry things out and our next best chance of rain looks to be thursday and friday of next week all right hey have a great weekend brian you as well in jackson it is 62 degrees ultimate sacrifice. The people at Gary Lang are glad to serve these special people. With over 1,500 vehicles in stock, more than any other dealership in McHenry, the Gary Lang vehicles are ready for delivery and offer the largest selection to choose from. Gary Lang... I mean, obviously, they, that, you know, they're going to be show their love of the sport, but they also have to have that layer of personality, right, in order to make it go. Yeah, you can be really pretty like Joe Montana and then get in the broadcast booth and be extremely boring. 
So I, I think Cuddy could be entertaining if he wants to, but I, I can't believe. Isn't Jay Cutler good looking? Am I the only one that thinks? He is. He is. Yeah, he is. Of, the I team gets involved in what neighbors are calling a dangerous situation. Tonight at 5 on ABC7 Eyewitness News. I'm Pat Sajak, and welcome back to Wheel of Fortune. All I think so. I mean, there's no perfect players out there. They're not going to sign on him. It's as a, a problem that was created. Church. M-Drive has a product for you. They have M-Drive Elite. Having Raccoon, uh, played by the voice of Bradley Cooper. All of this made a very, very big success with Guardians. They were not from Freeport. No, you, no, you know what they say. They, this is how God talks. They think they don't That's have an right. They think we have an accent. I know Linda does. That was amazing. When she answered the phone, it shot me. I didn't understand. You know, I was raised to hate royal families by my father. I don't know whether he was... A reminder that all of our social network and online comments read on air are presented by the official internet marketing sponsors of the huge radio network, Web Traffic Partners. Okay, that was the AM band. As you can see, we picked up quite a few stations, and it's you know it's just in the afternoon here. Uh, I imagine at night it would uh, pick up um, you know quite a few more, maybe a little bit of um, you know uh, probably some strong station DX anyway. So it's got a nice uh, AM uh, receiver on it. Um, I'll put the antenna up, and uh, we'll try some. FM band and then we'll see if we can pick up anything on the little weather band as well. Okay, should be an FM there. A lot more music on FM so I probably won't dwell on any of the stations for too long. Hey, it's Bobby Bob. Listen to the whole crew. Weekday mornings, 6 to Get this live over all of your outlets across the state. And you didn't stop there. You continued, and we partnered again in August with On Air. Oh, Kathy's calling you on the carpet like a New York woman. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Free Howie bread? Now that's an idea. Restrictions apply. Hungry? Howie's! Get a lot of attention. Come to Kessler's and begin... You're you are in the Metro Health Sports Metro. Fun, golden fun, everyone. Knowing your limits is always the best bet. That consumer's energy. There's more than one game, and we know how hard it is to go undefeated. Interrogate babysitter. Peppers, cucumbers, and onions. I'll take the Italian beans. Make it deluxe with 50% more meat. And add provolone and bacon. How about rotisserie-style chicken, chipotle southwest sauce, spinach, and green peppers? With our freshly baked breads, your choice of proteins, and an array of crisp veggies, you can create your own masterpiece. What combo will you make today? Let your creative genius shine. You've got pretty good audio for a little radio. 
up to almost Rockford. Some places it picks up. At now, Republicans have kind of passed the work. The reason it says they are virgins is because in Revelation, no election cycle, you or any other time, you cannot support or oppose a candidate for public office without. Hey, stay tuned as all things considered continue. Okay, it looks like that's the end of the FM band. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything at all on these uh, analog TV stations. So I'll just put it on um, TV high and see if we can pick up the weather band. I, I did try it earlier and I was unsuccessful at picking up any weather stations at all. I have a weather radio and it, it picks up weather stations without any trouble so not quite sure what's wrong with this um, uh, just yeah went right through the whole thing and didn't even get a um, a signal there's some differences there but I'm not hearing anything at all um, so, I don't know, I guess perhaps the F uh, the uh, weather band just doesn't function on this particular model, this particular radio. But, um, anyway, I'll turn it off. That's the like other interesting uh, thing. Um, when you turn the power switch off, there's a, there's a slight delay. Like, um, there's a, a, a capacitor discharging or something where the radio still has power for, you know, maybe a, a second and a half, you know. I can hear it when I flip the switch how the, the uh, background hiss there will just kind of fade out. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. But um, yeah, it's a nice little um, portable radio. Great, you know, for the garage or whatever. Um, it's really hard just to find a decent um, radio anymore. There's a lot of junk radios out there. They don't make these anymore. The IC um, F36 is no longer in production. The ICF38 was recently discontinued as well. And I don't know that Sony's actually replaced it with anything else that I know of. Um, but you know, they used to make uh, radios like this and they were good radios and they they sounded good and they received good and they didn't drift and you know, it's just the uh, radios that they have in the stores today, if you can find one, are just, um, um, you know, some junk, no-name brand, you know, like GPX or some other generic name, and you can just look at it and tell that it's a very low quality, and, you know, you pick up the package, and it, you know, it doesn't weigh anything. Now, granted, this has a power cord in the back and four AA batteries, but... You know, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not going to, you know, blow off the edge of the table, you know, when the, the wind picks up a little bit. But uh, anyway, um, I just thought I'd uh, show you this ICF-36. Um, Very nice radio. If you can find one, you know, on eBay or a garage sale or something, uh, they're, they're worth picking up. They are pretty decent receivers and unlike uh, so much of the stuff that you find in the stores today. So... With that, I'll see you guys next time. This is The Radio Geek.